Hey again. Um, I wanted to follow up. I just sent you a video about Shakeology and how I like to make mine. So while I'm thinking about it, I have a couple documents that I'm going to upload into our all-in 21-day challenge group. But I also wanted to just talk to you a little bit about Shakeology and why it's good for you. Um, some other little tips and I don't know, just a little info to help you out with that. I have found helpful over the years that I've been drinking it. So, a little bit about Shakeology. Um, this sounds kind of strange, but think about it like as a chicken breast. Okay, when you make chicken, everyone likes to season it different ways. And sometimes you'll make it and you're like, eh, it's okay, not very good. Uh, try a different recipe. Same thing like Shakeology. Okay, I, ha I know a lot of people that have tried it their first time and they're like, oh my gosh, that was the grossest thing ever. Until they try it another way and then they're like, oh, that's pretty good. And then you drink it for a couple days and then they start to feel a little different and feel the benefits of it. So I want you to experiment with it. Don't get discouraged if you don't really find a way that you love it at first. Um, if you have a certain flavor, um, ask me. I'll send you some recipes too, but I might be able to give you some tips as to um, some of the better recipes for the flavor of Shakeology that you chose. So. Um, play around with it. Everyone has different tastes um, and you have to kind of find what works for you. I shared with you one of my favorite that is a peanut butter and banana chocolate one. How do, can you not like that, right? So, um, what time of day to drink it? I get asked that a lot. When do you drink your Shakeology? Um, again, kind of a personal preference. A lot of people drink it for breakfast because it kind of starts your day on the right foot. It's such a good blend of things. It helps fill you up. Um, it kind of it does help curb cravings. Um, so a lot of people drink it early on for to help give them energy. Um, get rid of some of the cravings uh, and it just it it's a good way to start the day I don't always drink it for breakfast um, if I don't drink it for breakfast I'll have it for a, a second meal after like a snack um, after my morning workout um, sometimes I save it for later in the day because of my work schedule and the fact that I work a lot at night um, I will sometimes have it like at four or five o'clock and either take it with me to work or drink it before I go to work because then that's going to fill me up for a couple hours while I'm at work. So I'm not starving. I have the energy to get through my evening. Um, and then I'll come home and have a small meal, hopefully small, before I go to bed. Uh, so all different times of day. I have some clients that drink it at night because that's when they get their sweet um, craving. So the chocolate shake allergy, they often blend it kind of thick and make it like a milkshake and that helps satisfy their sweet tooth. So um, you kind of have to, have to evaluate you, your needs, your schedule and see when it's going to fit in and how it's going to work for you. So that's just a tip. Um, why do you have to drink it every day? Because it's like a multivitamin. Take a look at the back of the bag. Um, look on my website, my Shakeology website. I'll post a link for you. Um, learn a little bit about it so you know what you're drinking and why it's good for you. Uh, you know, protein powders are typically just protein. You know, okay, I'm getting my whey protein. This has so much more than just protein. And I don't want to be salesy about it. It works for me. I love how it makes me feel. Um, but I want you to experience for it for yourself. Um, do a little research. You know, we should always look into what we're putting in our bodies. Take a look at all the vitamins and minerals that are in it, all of the superfoods that are in it, the different types of protein that are in it. Um, I'd love to say that I eat awesome all the time, but I don't. When I'm on the 21 day fix program, I eat much better than normal, but with my schedule, like most people, some days my diet is less than stellar. So when I drink my shake, I know that I'm getting a good daily dose of nutrition. I'm getting vitamins, minerals, probiotics, prebiotics, all this stuff that I would otherwise have to take in pills or through a very balanced diet. And in the ideal world, yes, we'd be getting it all from whole foods, um, which is how I try to eat the rest of the day. But some days I just don't feel like I'm getting enough balance. So I feel like I'm getting a good dose when I get my shake allergy in for the day. So um, that's how I feel about it. Um, a few other tips, and I mentioned this when I was making the shake and telling you about it. Shake allergy, first of all, is very filling. It's gonna fill you up, hopefully. That's why I like it. Protein shakes don't hold me. They'll fill me up for like maybe 45 minutes or an hour, but shake allergy will hold me longer, and that's why I like it. 
Um, if you just need it as a snack, sometimes I do it as a snack and I'll use half of a scoop. So that'd be half of a red container if you're on the 21 day fix. Um, sometimes I'll just do that with water, um, maybe some almond milk or blend it. Most people like it blended better. So you might think I'm crazy that I like it in a shaker bottle. I do like chocolate and strawberry just with a little bit of almond milk and water and ice shaken up. Um, not a lot of people like it that way. Most people like it blended with ice, a little bit of fruit. Um, again, play around with the ingredients, but blend it up. Um, so you can do it as a snack. Um, I mentioned before Shakeology is thick. Um, the first time I made it, it got really, really thick. So just keep an eye out for that. And the more frozen stuff you put in it, the thicker it'll get. Some people love it thick. So see what you, see how you enjoy it. Um, some of my recipes, I'm going to post those for you. Uh, remember that this is not a milkshake. You know, they can taste really darn good, but don't think that you're getting a McDonald's or Wendy's smoothie. Um, I think that's it for now about that. Um, again, any questions, let me know. Um, what time of day, you know, again, it's up to you. So start plugging in your meals to your um, whatever tracking mechanism you're using for the 21 day and see where you're going to try the Shakeology. Maybe try it early in the day to start and see how that feels. Um, and let's see how it goes. I'm excited to do these 21 days with you. So let's get started. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Have a good night.